Hey guys, it's Alicia. I just wanted to tell you the story of um, how I got robbed. Okay, so I was around 15, 16, I'm not really sure. I was home alone with my sister. Um, my mom was out doing shopping, I think. I think she was shopping, I'm not really sure. But we were just sitting at home watching Netflix, you know, chilling, having fun, being teenagers. And all of a sudden, all our dogs started barking. I have three dogs. I have a Rottweiler, a Shih Tzu, and a Pomeranian. They're all barking. They're all going crazy. But I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, not even think about it. Just watch Netflix. Mind my own business. It might be just be my neighbors. But a half hour later, me and my sister both hear a loud bang, and then we hear footsteps and we both think it's coming from the cellar. We were in the living room just, you know, watching Netflix, like I said, and you can, there's um, a door to go outside from the cellar. And so we heard the loud bang and it, I mean, when you shut the cellar door, it is a loud bang. So we thought maybe someone was breaking into our house, like a normal person would. So we start kind of freaking out a bit. We're not sure what to do. We pause Netflix. And so I call my mom. My mom's not answering. I call my other sister who lives in Seattle. I live in Pennsylvania. So I don't even think that she could have even done anything. She didn't answer either. So I'm like, great. This is great. What am I supposed to do? Should I go down there with a knife or something and like try to stab them in the throat? I don't know what to do. My mom goes, okay. There's an emergency, always go to the name. Always. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what she always told us. So we're like, okay. Instead of investigating and me dying, we're just gonna go over to the neighbor's house. So that's what we do. We go over there and I'm trying to call my mom. My mom's still not answering. I'm like, this is this is absolutely great. This is what happens to me. This is my life. We go over to the neighbor's house. She's like, okay, we're gonna call the police. And I didn't want to. I was like, no, let's just call my mom. Just, let's just, let's just call my mom. Let's just keep on calling my mom. She's like, no, we are going to call the police. I'm like, great. The police get here and it is probably like 10 cars outside of my house. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And so, I'm also dressed in um, pajama bottoms and a big sweatshirt that was like two sizes bigger <laughs> than my size in front of all of the police in my county, which is, I mean, that's that was just great. Always that, just checking that off my bucket list. Always wanted to do that. So I have to go out <laughs> and talk to them. And so they're like asking me what's going on. I'm kind of like freaking out. I'm like, okay, um, the head guy. There's like two head guides, one short guy and then one like really tall guy. And so the short guy was like mean to me. So I was like, okay, I'm not talking to you. And so I talked to the, the, the other head guy and um, he's like, okay, so what's what happened? okay we heard like a bang I think someone like went through the cellar door and they're like uh no one's going through that door they were like checking it out they were trying to push it they're like no one's going through it hey girl hey no one's going through it I'm like okay well I heard someone and then I heard footsteps it's there's snow on the ground so I'm like you know, in my slippers, I'm freezing, it's not fun. And then they're like, okay, do you have any um, animals in the house? We're gonna go in the house and check. And I'm like, yes, I have a Rottweiler. And they're like, is she vicious? Vicious? And I say, yes, she will bite your head off because she will. <laughs> and so, um, so they're like, okay, you're gonna go in, you're gonna put her away, like in her cage, and then 
you're, you know, and then you're gonna let us in. I'm like, great. So if there is a robber in my house, they will shoot me before the cops come, but whatever, whatever, fine. All in, um, in the kitchen because we have a gate in the kitchen. So I put them all, like, the two dogs and my big dog in the kitchen, everything's fine. I'm like, all right, you can go. And I'm like, where should I be? And he goes, just stand with the dog. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. I am fine with doing that. Um, after that, I'm standing, and then the head guy, he's just standing in the living room. So he can keep an eye on me, so, like, the robber's not, you know, going to kill me. And <laughs> they're just checking everywhere, they're going in rooms. At the time, I had, like, Justin Bieber posters everywhere, and I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be so embarrassing. <laughs> my big dog is sitting there like she's having fun like she's just sitting there looking at him and then he looks at me like and then oh, I'm telling you she is vicious as long as she sees me she's fine like if I was in the living room then she would like be like jumping the gate to go and attack them but since I was standing with her, she was like, okay, it's fine. So I'm like, do something, like bite my arm off or something so they know that I'm not lying. Um, everything's clear. They're like, okay, there is no robber. We saw no one. Like, you're fine. You're perfectly safe. You can stay in your house. Everything's fine. And I was like, okay, are you sure? We're getting ready to leave. The shorter cop is like, just like this morning, another false call. They always waste their time. Blah, 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 blah. First of all, I didn't want to call you guys. I wanted to just wait till my mom got home, but my neighbor made me. Okay, just calm down. I know. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, Alicia. So that was the story about how I got robbed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye!